Hey, tumbleweeds! I am going to go for a walk around the alpaca farm property because it's really pretty back in here. But I also wanted to tell you about something that I'm planning on doing in November. And uh, it, I thought I'd mention it because it might be something you would be interested in doing too. So it's kind of like the Inktober thing that I attempted to do in uh, October. I should have known better because I had, uh, I knew that I was going to the balloon fiesta, so I knew that I wouldn't have time for a few days to, to do drawings. And I was so tired by the time I got back. Oh, I passed my, I passed the path. Got to turn around and go back. Yeah, so, I did, first of all, I started Inktober, and in case you don't know what Inktober is, it's a challenge, and you can go to Inktober.com and find out about it. They have it every October, and it's where you uh, do an ink drawing based on prompts that they give you. It doesn't have to be based on their prompts, but I always followed the prompts that they gave. I completed it in 2019, but I tried a couple of times after that, including this year, <laughs> and uh, I didn't make it. So it does take some time. So anyway, the new thing that's coming up in November is called NaNoWriMo, and that stands for National November Writing Month. And there's a website that's nanowrimo.org that's n-a-n-o-r-w-r-i-m-o so n-a-n-o-w-r-i-m-o dot org and you can register on the website and you uh, post your goal if you want to try to write a novel in one month and there are thousands of people that do this NaNoWriMo every November. I did it once and I finished, but my writing was, was terrible, so nothing happened with that. And I tried a couple more times, and I just I was working at the time, and I just didn't have time to do it. So now I'm retired, and the month of November I shouldn't be traveling, uh, except for going to... Uh, uh, I will probably be going to Yuma at the end of November, but it'll just take me, you know, a few hours to get there. So, anyway, I just thought I'd mention it in case that might be something you would want to do too. So they give, they have lots of tips on how to write a novel and uh, give you checklists and things to prepare for the challenge. And. Uh, it's just, uh, they have groups that you can join, so you can ask people questions, and they even have uh, groups that have meetups, like at coffee shops and stuff like that, so you can go, like they have write, write-ins or something, you go there and everybody works on their novel at the same time, so it's kind of a community thing. Uh, I never did that. But they're all over the United States, so you just pick a region that you're in, and they'll they'll occasionally send you information about um, meetups and things like that. So I've been wanting to to write something, even if just for myself, about how I came to live as a nomad. And as I started making notes. I realized that this desire actually has started years and years and years ago, like even back in the early 2000s. So you can actually learn a lot about yourself when you're trying to write, if it's something that you're writing that's based on your life, that is. I plan to write a uh, fiction book, but it will be based on a true story of my nomad life. So. I don't know, we'll see. 
you know, it's no big deal if you fail. Nobody's going to chastise you or whatever. And, uh, you know, you have encouragement from other people that are trying to do the same thing. And it can be a lot of fun. So I just wanted to let you know about that. And uh, in case, you know, it might be something you might want to try. Because I know if you're a nomad like me and you are retired, especially, um, sometimes it can be boring if you don't have anything to do. Of course, I have my YouTube channel, so I never get bored. I'm always trying to come up with ideas on videos to make for my YouTube channel. But sometimes I get tired of that. Like, I don't always post. Uh, thought I saw something there. <laughs> there are rabbits out here. I don't think there's going to be any rattlesnakes now. I think the weather's too cold now. I hope anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. That happens a lot when you get old. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're interested in, uh, you know, joining in with me and doing, you don't have to do the NaNoWriMo, but, you know, if you're interested in writing a novel or a memoir or something. It doesn't have to be a novel um, that, to participate in this event. Uh, yeah, just post a comment and maybe we could get a little community together on my channel. That would be pretty cool. So, um, it's been quite a while since I walked around this property and I, I don't think I'm lost, but I'm not sh exactly sure where I am exactly. <laughs> Sometimes I come on this walk and I uh, decide not to go all the way around. And I turn around and for some reason it's hard to find my way back when I go back the way I came. So I'm just going to keep going <laughs> the way that I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on trail here. so. Anyway, okay, well, this isn't a very long video, but it was just something that I wanted to mention in case it might be something you guys would be interested in. And who knows, maybe I'll actually f finish writing a novel and maybe I'll self-publish it on Amazon. I'll be like Bob Wells. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.